going down into the world of mystery and magic. Anwar's business went bankrupt. Now he spends his last money on the only person he believes can help him, Ki Joko Bodo, the richest and most successful witch doctor in Indonesia. In his underground cave, Joko Bodo uses his own medicines, candles, swords, dolls and perfume. Anwar is convinced the treatment will make him a rich man. I completely believe he can do it. My friends were all successful after visiting Kijokobodo. Upon request, the witch doctor also performs black magic. He even tells us that people order him to kill their political opponents by using magic, something he says he can do. Of course, it's against the law. But please prove that it was done through magic. It's in this dark underground cave in Jakarta, where people are coming to look for solutions to their love life, their medical problems, or even for political support. They believe in magic is so big that they are willing to pay huge amounts of money. Even the most devout religious people think that magic is their last resort. Magic is big business in Indonesia. Clients pay at least 35 US dollars for a visit. A lot of money for the desperate poor people who ask the witch doctor's help. High-profile clients like parliament members or ministers pay up to thousands of dollars, depending on their request. In Indonesia, even the president himself, although he would deny it in public, is said to believe in magic. They are all hypocrites. I personally know the witch doctor who accompanied President Yudhoyono. He's a friend of mine. He was taken to a sacred location and took a bath there. The president bought a throne and a crown and a magical sword. I know exactly. If he denies it, that's probably because he is embarrassed with people like Obama. Although Obama, I'm sure, believes in this as well. Besides of being a former parliament member, Pamadi is one of the country's most well-known mystics. He thinks Indonesia's magic business has gone out of control and should be regulated by the government. According to the country's highest Muslim council, it's against Islamic teachings. It's too bad the government treats this magic as part of Indonesia's culture. Of course, culture, like our natural resources, should be protected, but culture that misleads and fools people should be wiped out. This should be forbidden. Kijo Kobodo has made a fortune with his magic. He has built houses like castles and owned several expensive sports cars. He doesn't believe that what he does is wrong. Many things are forbidden. Drinking is forbidden. Prostitution is forbidden. But this is my reality, the reality of Kijokobodo. As long as people are willing to pay huge amounts of money to fulfill their dreams with magic, Kijokobodo will be able to expand his fleet of cars. It doesn't seem likely the government will stop him anytime soon. Step fastened, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.